Today I wanted to do a little test. Um, I've potentially got some quite long rides coming up. Uh, end of January, end of February. I've got my full kit on. I've got my clean pants. I don't normally wear without leggings on underneath. But I don't. I'm not wearing leg leggings. I'm trying to figure out how if I can wear them in really really warm weather. I've got my Hellite jacket. Where's my airbag jacket? Right there is the canister and the pull loop. I normally don't wear these together because they're really hot and they're really uncomfortable. Um, but I want to give it a go today, see if it's manageable. It's pretty warm today. Uh, get a feel for what it's going to be like. When the sun is out today, it's probably high 20s. So I'm taking my, for the first time, my Tour Max. So this is a, this helmet itself is a Duke 2. This is off a Tour Max. And all I did is off of the Tour Max and put it onto the Duke to convert it. So I've got a Duke Max or something with the visor. Um, I find the visor does help me and I don't, it doesn't feel like it drags very much for me. Whether these clothes and this helmet combination work, I'm still f messing around with Arrow. This alone just sucks. This is better. I have another one, a point one, that will clip on either here or here. Um, I've tried it both. It's not great. I have my back support on as well, a uh, back stabilizer. It's elastic. It goes around my back, my, my stomach. So it's sort of a trade-off. I need to think about still using core muscles and letting the thing support me. Looking to get more. Uh, my goal is to get more than an hour. In the seat. Before. I feel uncomfortable. That's all I can manage. About an hour. I can push it. Slide back and forth in the seat. Moving my legs and feet backwards and forwards on the foot pegs. But that's about when it becomes uncomfortable and I really think about getting off. I would love to have two hours on this bike without feeling like I've got to get off. I must say, I do feel... This flap just folded down on me. Put my head down. Goes flop. That's not good. At all. Ideally, I would do some emergency braking training because I have a Ride Forever course coming up. I must say though, now that I'm trying this helmet from in anger, this, the, eye, the vision is not as good as the AGV KVS3 or the Bell SRT. I do like a peaked helmet when I'm in an upright position like this. But I'm going to have to fix that floppiness. It must be a pin or something I missed. side mechanism of this helmet is um, a little bit different.
short ride. Pretty sure I can do it up here. There's a um, rest stop on top of the hill. Ish. It's starting to get a little warm. later visors off getting all connected We're ready to go Screen, I'm definitely getting some buffeting. Stand up. You no, know, I'm just, it's not as buffeting, but it's really right in my face and chest, which is still just as loud in my ears as it is sitting here. Okay, we'll just settle in. Let's get some ventilation going up the arms. Vents are open. Yep. The thing with this helmet is there is not much venting. Uh, pretty warm. Alright, let's see if we can pull up the prize. Sweating, sweating, sweating. Sweating between my buttocks is not very nice. Here's the camera. Everybody wave. Hi. Which looks like I might climb up. Very nice for him to flick on his indicator like let me know it's okay. That's one. Two. These are really nice at speed. But it's a really nice surface. You could probably imagine what at speed is. Wish I had a visor right about now. <laughs> Wish I had a better ventilating helmet right now. <laughs> Oopsie. Finger, hand slipped off the clutch. I guess that's about it. We will try something different tomorrow. Uh, there's nothing really for you to see. There's nothing really anything for us to test. Um, I will leave it here for today, and we'll come back tomorrow with a whole new set of gear, and give it a go again. <laughs>